What is up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube? I'm Chris Smith, and today I'm going to be talking about Shadowhunters, episode two of the first season. That is right. Before I do anything, please stay to the end, watch the video, comment, subscribe, like, help me out. Thank you, if you can. Okay, so let's talk about the plot of this thing. The basic plot pretty much kicks off exactly where the first episode left off. Claire's mom pretty much has been taken by Valentine, and now she has to kind of unlock her memories that her mom kind of, you know, took away from her of sorts. To, in order to find her mother and kind of help her out. And therefore, the, you know, the leather-wearing Shadowhunters pretty much take her to the ruins or ruins or whatever it is underground to this under, uh, underneath cult to unlock her memories. And then, you know, that is what it is pretty much in this episode. Now, some this episode I thought was fine. I thought it was okay. It is a little bit better than the first, but a little bit worse than the first episode. One things, a couple of things I liked in this episode is... Uh, you know, I like the, the banter between Simon and Jace, right? I like that, you know, they, they do have good chemistry between each other, and that does kind of work. And he, he has pretty much good chemistry, Simon, with everybody pretty much in the cast. Also, um, you know, we get to see a bit more information about the circle, and we also get to hear a bit more information about Claire's mom. So I really was like, okay, we're starting to get this. But unfortunately, sometimes they give us so much information to the point where you can't digest it all. This show is moving quickly. And I mean fast. And I'm hearing people talk about it. And unfortunately, that may be one of the Achilles heel to the show because it does move so quickly to the point where they're not explaining enough. Um, also, uh, Simon, he's definitely the most interesting character by far. He's funny and he's actually kind of cool and relatable because everybody else is just either slightly bland or they're just very basic. Right. Yes. Elizabeth, ha, we get it. But for the most part, that's about all she is. You know, Claire is a little bit whiny, but, you know, she is our hero of sorts. And everybody else is just kind of there. Uh, but Simon is definitely the most interesting character on the show and by far. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, also, not only that, but this is a bit of a spoiler, but when she does go to the uh, the ruins or whatnot. Uh, well, this is a spoiler, I guess. Uh, but, you know, when she does go to the ruins, she pretty much realizes that Valentine is actually her father. And then now she's like, okay, that's a nice Star Wars style twist, you know, like Vader and Luke. Because, you know, now it's, you know, the guy who took her mom pretty much is uh, her father. So I, that adds a bit more of an interesting relationship between the two. And, you know, I, I thought that actually would be cool. And also I enjoyed uh, Luke's story. All right. It's obvious. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's obvious that he's a bit of a wolf, a werewolf. Right. Am I wrong? If you read the books, let me know. Uh, but it's obviously he's a bit of a wolf. Also, now let's talk about some negatives in this thing. One. The, 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 I'm just going to say this right here. One, Alec, he has the emotion of a dead battery. That dude is not exciting. He's bland and emotionless to the core. He has zero emotion. And he's deadpanned serious. Uh, not only that, but, you know, uh, for Simon, because he eventually gets captured, right, at the very end. And for me personally, I just hope Simon is not just a comic relief guy and then the Manzo in the stress. Yes, it's a Manzo in the stress because personally, he, that's pretty much what he is. He's a manzel in distress. Um, also, there's this guy that takes the oath, right, at the very beginning of the thing. And he says, I can't speak on this matter. You know, I took an oath, and then it, uh, it burns the hold of me, before I can remember. I was just like, instead of making this guy go through so much pain and suffering, how about they just let him write it down? Couldn't that make more sense, personally? I just thought that was very stupid and kind of dumb. He could have wrote the damn thing down and could have saved all the pain and suffering it is. Also, some people keep on saying Claire looks like her mom. She don't. Not at all whatsoever. She looked more like Valentine than her mom. She don't look like shit. Uh, also, you know, as I was saying earlier, the, it is fast-paced. So fast-paced that it does kind of feel like it's rushing so many things in jam-packed. I feel like they were wrapped up most of the book in one episode. That's pretty much what it is, uh, unfortunately. But, yeah, you know, this episode is a bit more better. It ends with Simon being taken, and that's kind of what it is. Claire is a little bit whiny. Um, you know, but we get to see more of the world of sorts, but that's about it. Uh, this was an okay episode, I thought, to me personally. Um, uh, Simon's still a standout, but yeah, there it is. Comment, subscribe, like, please subscribe, and, uh, signing out. But, you know, that is how it is.